Good morning. My name is Lindsay Gibson, and I'm a very new member to the Ulster Unionist Party. But I'm... But I really am so excited to be part of this new movement in Northern Ireland and promote a union of people and one union. I'm a football mum, a dance mum, a Christian and an eye-rolling wife. I'm originally from the Donegal Road in Belfast, but now I live in Lisburn. I'm involved uh, with young girls in the Girls' Brigade, which I'm sure some of you ladies were involved with during your times. I love getting out for a run or exercising. I have to say, though, not really for losing weight, um, just as, as an excuse to eat some chocolate later on in the day or to improve my own mental health. Um, I have had three concerts rescheduled on me during the past um, 18 months, so I know I'm a lover of music, and running combines these two loves for me. I'm a teacher in Carrickfergus at the moment and have been there for 14 years, having taught in Belfast two before that. I've taught RE, maths, and citizenship, amongst many other subjects. My love of citizenship comes from an A-level I studied in politics. I went for visits to Stormont and Westminster with my class, and I was amazed at the way that politicians, whether on a regional or national level, have the ability to influence other politicians and other people around them and inspire hope in our communities. Regardless of anyone's political beliefs, I feel we all have an opportunity to get behind our government for the best of our country, and I can see and I believe where our vision of a union of people can achieve that. The Ulster Unionist Party is a party for all people in Northern Ireland, and I want to share that with anyone that I come into contact with. I believe our union of people is for all members of society, regardless of their background, their ability, their ethnicity, their social standing, their class, gender, race, religion, goals, or their priorities. As a teacher, this vision of a union of people is so powerful. I am continually preaching to the students that I teach that they need to get involved with lobbying, student councils, charity groups, and our government. I've told them that they need to be the change in politics and become involved. I can really see in our schools today, and I know some of you have already seen and worked to solve the issues that our young people face. Whether they be disadvantages at home, their disengagement with the education system, or their struggling mental health. I believe we need to help our young people as they're who we're building this union for. We need to get alongside them and show them that this union is for them too and they can be part of this union and can work to better the communities that they live in. This union of people, I think, starts first with a union in schools, which is then going to be passed on to their homes, their communities, and their towns. All our pupils deserve this push forward in the right direction to motivate and encourage them to do their very best for society, and then to show the rest of the UK and the rest of the world what a place Northern Ireland is, and this will in turn bring more opportunities to them and to us. This push forward is to show them to be the very best version of themselves, representing their families and their areas. I know if it wasn't for the push that I had from my own parents and my teachers, I wouldn't be here in front of you all today talking about how we can make a change in Northern Ireland for the better for us all. Mental ill health in our schools is a huge issue that I want to tackle and improve. As mentioned already, I know some of you have already been campaigning on this issue, and I want to join with you in improving the mental health of our young people. Every day I find out about at least one pupil who is struggling with their mental health. Personally, I know I've had my own issues with mental health, so I know how frightening and overpowering these feelings can be. If we can raise up children and young people who are strong and resilient, we are raising up young people to continue to build up our communities and lead this country. I always tell my, do the, my pupils the door is always open and I'm always busy. I'm privileged to be able to help and encourage the young people I work with, but not all pupils feel that they can talk to their teacher about this. I would love to see more money being invested in school counsellors who can help our young people talk about their problems and overcome them. 
The wait for child and adolescent mental health services, or CAMS, is too long, and I feel why not have a school counsellor in every school who can deal with these issues straight away without having to wait for six to eight weeks. I know that Robin Swan is already driving the needed changes to tackle poor mental health at all ages and has been working with CAMS on this issue. My passion is matched by this party's desire to transform mental health issues for this country and for the betterment of all people. Personally, I love the idea of Labour's pledge to have a, at most one month waiting time for patients who suffer from mental ill health. Robin and the Department of Health uh, need to be given the funding and the political support in the executive to make this a reality. Realistically, though, our young people can't even wait for one month. A month in a teenager's life is too long to speak to someone. We need counsellors and teachers in school now who can help our young people overcome the problem so it doesn't spiral out of their control. As a mum, I obviously, like all of you parents, want what's best for my children. And I know what's best for my children is a government who can and will work for the best for all of its people. Not a government who will throw their toys out of the pram when they don't get their own way or threaten to walk away at first sight of trouble. Our children deserve to have a government who will achieve and inspire others to achieve, regardless of their political affiliation. My husband for a long time has said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. This is the result that we have had in Northern Ireland since 2003, and it's time to make a change. Our union of people is a stance that Northern Ireland hasn't, in my opinion, seen. Imagine a unionist party for all members of society, regardless of their background. The Ulster Unionist Party is a party that has Northern Ireland's best interests at heart. Yes, we want to be part of the UK, but we know that our future is best driven in our hands, not under direct rule. We need... We need to take charge of this country and the future for our children. I want my children to grow up in a country and be proud of their unionist background and heritage, but also to be engaged with all members of society. This is what I believe the Ulster Unionist Party does. We work together for the good of all the people. I see our union of people benefiting my family as it strengthens ties between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom and letting us avail of all the opportunities that have been offered to us also allowing us to show the rest of the UK that Northern Ireland is a place bringing opportunities to them, whether that be through education, business or tourism. We can show the rest of the UK we have so much to offer here. This Union of People is such an exciting movement to be part of, and I'm very honoured that this party has let me share and be part of its vision for 2021 and the future. When Doug um, met me this morning, he thanked me for sticking my head out, and I want to thank you for allowing me to. Thank you very much. <laughs>